The conversion of a petrol or diesel vehicle is the most sustainable and economical way of driving the perfect electric car. The main principle behind this is to reuse all the vehicle's components that do not impact the internal combustion side of the engine and to substitute the rest with a full electric motor. Engine, radiator, petrol tank, exhaust pipes, alternator, etc. will be removed, reducing the car's weight. By leaving a chassis with all the necessary parts for safe and comfortable driving, such as the interior, brakes, tyres, shock absorbers, etc., all effort is reduced to installing and designing an electric system with a motor and batteries. It's very important to choose a good design for the electronic system. The electric motor, battery pack and motor controller should have the same specifications for power and speed for which the car was originally designed. Too much power could damage the traction components or may not respond as well to braking, and too little could cause the gears not to acquire the adequate speed. Electron is a project that was born in 2014. The idea was to probe the concept of transforming a city car to electric which is ideal for short trips within a city. We chose a Renault Twingo to build a prototype as it is a small light car. After two years of design, experiments and testing, we have made it. The main issue for this kind of transformation is expected range for the given batteries. How long will it run? Nowadays there are cars that can drive 700 kilometers in one single charge. In order to achieve this, there needs to be at least between 70 kilowatts and 80 kilowatts. Our prototype comes with a 7.4 kilowatt. This prototype has a 15 kilowatt AC induction motor with a maximum torque of 80 newton meter, a battery pack of 72 volts and 100 amp per hour. It has an 80 volt and 350 amp controller. This will reach a speed of up to 90 kilometers per hour in fifth gear. The first test showed that the total weight had no effect at all when taking corners, the shock absorbers responded well as expected, and by removing the engine noise, the driving was much more comfortable. An additional vacuum pump was installed to help the braking system. The braking performed very well as it responded to hard braking, and the car stopped as expected on steep ramps. A small display was installed in the interior to monitor battery usage, electric current, motor temperature, state of charge, etc. at will. Lights and interior accessories such as electric windows, radio, airflow, windshield washer, etc. were kept in the car. The current version of the Electron takes 8 hours to fully charge the battery pack. You may buy another charger that could reduce this time from 6 to 4 hours.